Hello and welcome to Falkirk Libraries. I'm Tanya and this is Linda, our Sign Language Interpreter. Now I'm going to read you a lovely book today and then we're going to sing a song. Now, this one is called Mac and Bob, The Party Problem. Hmm. And it's written by Alan Windrum and illustrated by Dave Sutton. Mac and Bob were sitting in the kitchen enjoying raspberry jam sandwiches and a cup of tea when all of a sudden there was a noise at the door. I wonder what that is, said Mac. Bob scampered into the hall to find a large envelope lying on the doormat. Ooh, that looks interesting, said Mac. They opened the envelope and as they did, lots of sparkly stars, party poppers and streamers jumped out along with a brightly coloured invitation to a party. Wowie! cried Mac. I love parties. Lots of food, lots of music, lots of dancing and lots more food. I love food and music and dancing too, said Bob. Oh dear, said Mac, as he slowly sat down in his chair and put his head in his hands. The party's tonight and all my clothes are dirty. Don't worry, Mac, said Bob. It will be fine. We will wash everything and then you will have lots of clean clothes to choose from. Yippee, said Mac jumping out of his seat. I love parties! So Mac gathered up all his clothes, which were very dirty from working on the farm. He even took off the ones he had on. Bob put them all into the washing machine and he watched as the clothes went round and round and round again. Mac sat in his underwear with a big smile on his face and another large cup of tea. Looking out of the window, Mac noticed the trees swaying backwards and forwards. It was getting very windy. Brilliant, he said. Everything is going so well. All my clothes will dry really quickly in this wind. As soon as the washing was done, Bob put Mac's clothes in a basket and they went outside to hang them up on the washing line. Mac was still in his underwear, but he was in such a good mood, he started to dance and sing his washing day song. Pick up a peg and put it on your pants. Hang them on the line and watch them dance. Dance to the left and dance to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. As he sang, Mac hung up all his washing. You don't put your wellies on the washing line, said Bob. Oh well, I'll just wear them, said Mac. Bob laughed and laughed as he watched Mac, dressed only in his underwear and wellies, dance his way back into the house. Together they sat by the fire and had another jam sandwich. Outside the wind was getting stronger and stronger, blowing the trees and bushes backwards and forwards to the left and to the right. Whoosh! When Mac and Bob looked out of the window, all of his clothes had gone. They ran outside. Only the pegs were left on the washing line. Bob, Bob, Mac shouted, what are we going to do? All my clothes have blown away. Bob started running round the farm, looking for the missing clothes. In the barn, he found Mac's dungarees wrapped around the cow. I like this new scarf, said the cow. It's keeping me very cosy. Oops, said Bob. 
Mac began looking for his clothes along the lane when he saw Mr Green the postman cycling towards him. He realised he was still in his underwear, so he quickly jumped into the bushes and waited until Mr Green had passed by. In the yard, the chickens were happily clucking around with Max, now very dirty, socks on their heads. Further up the lane, Bob found the pig rolling in the mud with Max's shirt on its back. I think this colour really suits me, said the pig. Oh dear, everything is dirty again, said Bob. On his way to the field, Mac had to hide under the bridge to avoid Mrs Flower, the baker, and then jumped behind the tractor when Polly and Poppy Brown came skipping down the road. By now, even the underwear that Mac had on was dirty. Oh dear, said Mac, what am I going to do? He sat down in a bucket and watched as Gilbert the horse came trotting down the field, wearing Mac's best jacket on his back and his underpants on his head. Do you like my new look? said Gilbert. It came by air mail. Once Bob had gathered up all the very dirty clothes, he found Mac looking very sad. What am I going to wear now, Bob? he sighed. All my clothes are dirty again and it's nearly time for the party. Suddenly, Bob spotted something in the distance. He told Mac his great idea. Wowee! Bob, that's brilliant, said Mac. Let's do it. Standing tall in the middle of the field was the old scarecrow who was wearing the only clean clothes on the farm. What an amazing idea, Bob, said Mac as they made their way to the village hall for the party. Mac was wearing the scarecrow's old clothes with brightly coloured patches on his elbows and knees and straw sticking out everywhere. And when they arrived, they opened the door to find that it wasn't just any old party. It was a fancy dress party. What a great night they had with music and dancing and lots and lots of food. Afterwards, Mac and Bob skipped along the road to the farmhouse, carrying their prize, the best dressed scarecrow at the party. Winner! Best fancy dress costume! I love parties, said Mac, especially fancy dress parties. Bob smiled and said, so do I, Mac. So do I. And that's the end. Now that was a lovely story and we're going to sing a song that we might sing at a party. Are you ready to join in? It's called We're Happy and Un We Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. <laughs> there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Come along and watch another one of our videos another time. Bye bye.